Hey, what's up guys, it's Girl Hands, and surprise, surprise, I'm playing some Modern Warfare 3. Now, I know I told a bunch of people that I wasn't planning on getting this game. Uh, well, I guess I'm a liar, because here I am playing it. I figured, you know what, what the hell, I might as well see if this game is as good or as bad as everyone says that it is. And I only rented it, so, you know, if it sucks or I don't like it, then I'm out two bucks, it's not that big a deal. And if I do like it, then I can go out and buy the full game. And so I played it over the course of about two days, made sure to play both solo and with a team just to see how the dynamic changes because I heard a lot of people say that the experience can be really bad if you play solo. And I feel like I've had enough time you know, playing the game to get at least a general impression of, of how it plays overall and you know, had a chance to experience a lot of the issues that I've heard people complain about. Uh, this gameplay right here is actually my third game ever playing Modern Warfare 3, so if you see me running in weird routes or if I'm, I'm missing people that are obviously in front of me, it's because I'm new to the game, or at least I, I haven't even played this level before, so I'm still trying to figure out what in the world I'm doing. Uh, but I feel like it's a pretty good gameplay for, for just starting out. Um, but yeah, no, in, in my time playing the game, I definitely ran into everything I've heard people discuss. I've ran into the, the wonderful spawn system, the FMG9s, the Type 95, quick scoping, and the map design, and lag compensation. Ran into all of it. Uh, so I'll, I'll quickly touch base on all that stuff. I don't really want to dig into it because I'm sure you guys have heard it already before. But uh, let's see. The Type 95, I didn't really think it was that bad. The only thing that uh, kind of sucks about that gun is it'll kill you very quickly at close range. It's a two shot kill. Like each bullet is 50 damage at close range. I make it. Make it so it's a three burst to kill you at close range, then I think the gun's fine. Other than that, uh, there's no real like, issue with it. Even with rapid fire, I really didn't think it was that big a deal. It feels like the FAMAS. I never had a problem with the FAMAS in Modern Warfare 2. Um, the FMGs, though, those things are the harbingers of death. I hate those guns with a passion. They're secondaries, and they're more powerful than a lot of primaries. You just have those two guns out, equip steady aim. You don't even really need steady aim. Uh, just have a Kimbo and just aim in a general direction and kind of flick your controller back and forth and spray and pray and you'll kill somebody in about a millisecond. They're way, way, way too powerful. And they're secondary. Makes no sense at all. I don't even know why they included machine pistols in secondary, as secondaries to begin with. I think Black Ops and God 4 and World War all had that right. Your secondary should be a pistol or a launcher. That's about it. I, I don't understand why they include those other things in there. I feel like when you start adding all those different weapons, it makes it harder to balance everything out. And obviously you get issues like what you're seeing here. Um, so yeah, those those actually the only things that that uh, that really I think suck about the game that it's absolutely horrible are those guns, because like, everybody uses them and there's not really a true counter. Because I like I noticed people were like camping buildings with them, just watching doorways. You want to use a grenade to take them out, but uh, the grenades were like firecrackers in this game. I don't know. They I, people wanted them to nerf explosives, which is awesome. Nerf the tubes, but why nerf grenades? I I don't know. They they suck now. <laughs> <laughs> I wish, I wish they just nerfed the noob too, but not uh, Semtex and Frags, because uh, they're they're pretty pathetic. Now, what else? Um, the spawn systems are pretty abysmal. Probably the worst I've seen in any Call of Duty. Uh, they're not as bad as I thought they were. I thought they'd always be spawning on top of me, but uh, they're still not good. I think the worst situation I ever had was I was walking through a doorway and somebody shot me, and he was head glitching behind this large concrete barrier. I watched the kill cam, and he spawned there. He spawned already head glitching, already facing the doorway. <laughs> so he didn't even have to move his gun or, or aim or anything. He was already ready to kill me. He was actually half surprised uh, that I was right in front of him. Uh, so yeah, that was that was probably one of the worst experiences. I've definitely had like lucky moments. Like I've spawned behind groups of people directly behind them. So I'll get like a double, triple kill real quickly. And you know, it's not anything good that I did. This, this the game puts me in the right position. Uh, so yeah, spawns really do suck. The first day I played it, they weren't really that bad. I, I felt like I could predict where they were going to be, but then the next day, I don't know. They'd spawn right next to you, they'd spawn on the other side of the map, they'd spawn behind you. It, it's really bad. They need to tweak that and fix it. And the thing is, with the maps, they're not that small, so I don't know why when they do start spawning on you, they always keep spawning right next to you. I don't know why they don't spread it out. I guess they want to keep the game flowing and they want to keep the action going but uh, I don't know they need to put a little distance between people when they spawn I don't mind a little bit of a, of time to get to the to the enemy I'm right here I'm sitting here camping because I'm talking to my teammates I'm trying to figure out how the Moab works because uh, I'm on a pretty good streak I didn't realize though that you need to get all your kills with your gun 
And I think I got a couple kills with my Predator and my Harrier, or not my Harrier, my my Chopper Gunner. So yeah, I, I wasn't even close. Um, but yeah, no, the, uh, what else? The lag compensation? Um, I ran into that a little bit. It wasn't as big a deal as it, it seems to be for a lot of other people. Uh, sometimes though, it, it does suck. I'll shoot people and they absolutely sponge bullets. Um, and then I'll have these weird freezes. I'll start to shoot somebody in the game freeze just a little bit until that guy starts to shoot. Yeah, stuff like that. It's kind of aggravating. But it, it really wasn't that bad at all. And then finally there's uh, the, the level design. I don't hate any of the maps, but I don't love them either. They're just okay. They're just all meh. That's about it. Uh, so overall, my general impression is the game has potential. If you fix a lot of the things that I mentioned, uh, it, it could be really fun. I like the overall gunplay. Uh, for the most part, although there's some situations where I see people killing me just by flicking their controller back and forth. They're not even really aiming. I, like, I guess I'm not aiming that much either with steady aim. Um, but uh, I do like the, the general gunplay. Uh, but uh, a lot of little issues. The game has potential. Uh, but I don't plan on picking the game up. There's other games right now that are holding my interest uh, far more than this could. And I've said Modern Warfare 2 had potential. Nothing ever came from that, so we'll maybe maybe it'll tweak things out. But for the meantime, I'm sticking with Gears of War 3. Uh, but those are my thoughts on the game. Hope you guys had a good weekend, and like always, take it easy.